My only friends were down her Dan and my homegirl, Negative Nancy. Listen, I be rocking to the song. Do you hear me? Darnell Jackson, Mama Spitfire, Not Today, on all digital platforms. Did they say digital platforms or digital outlets? I'm not sure. Is that the same? Because, you know, I don't really know which one is which. But either way, go ahead and get you a copy. It pay for the copy. But stream it. Stream it, too. Put it in Spotify. Do whatever you got to do. But rock out with me tonight today, okay? Welcome to day number 14 of the 30-Day Hippie Yo Challenge. How I Think It Over, where we have learned that currency and language are two different things. True or true? Currency and language are two different things. So we learned what faith is and what faith is not. Faith is not currency. It is not heaven's currency. I don't I don't know who made it up. No shade to you if this is your thing. But the Bible that I read <laughs> was very uh, intentional about telling me to pay attention to God's speech was let me know that faith is a language. God put that in us. We have to have faith to even believe in him, right? It's impossible to even please God without faith. Don't get me started. Because I've been trying to keep these short, y'all. When I get on my rants every now and then and I get on this little soapbox, puts me a little higher than my five foot one, you know, height right now and all that. But I'm not going to be on my soapbox today. <laughs> faith is a language. And you guys have made it to the end of week number two. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations! Even if you had to catch up, you're still here with me. And I appreciate you being here. So here's what I'm going to tell you. This is the part where I give you your life work. Yes. Whenever I'm counseling, whenever I'm doing life coaching, I give life work. Not homework, but life work. Not something that you just do at home and then, you know, do away with it, but something that we work on for our entire life. The Bible instructs us to cast all of our cares and our burdens on the Lord, right? He's here for us. He really is. <laughs> God sent his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross. Remember that visual for me and and your sins and everybody else's sins who accept him as their personal savior. And he left the Holy Spirit as a comforter, someone who indwelled us to help us fulfill our purpose that we were created on earth to do. So if I have all of that, all of that power in front of me, behind me, on the side of me, around me, all, all of those things underneath of me, then I should be able to cast my cares on the biggest, baddest, and best God to ever do it. So I'm encouraging you guys that even if you may have lost your way, even if you, you didn't pay attention to some of the instructions and the directives that God is giving you in your life, it's not too late. You don't have to give up. You don't have to say, forget about that idea or forget about that vision or forget about that provision because I didn't have the resources. God put everything that you need for your purpose inside of you. It's in your hands. He did. That's why he created us, right? <laughs> he created us to fulfill what it is we are supposed to be fulfilling. Like, so he had to have given us some tools. So you have all of the tools that you need. What I'm going to encourage you to do for your life work is to actually write down some areas in your life where you felt like maybe you missed the mark. Maybe you missed an instruction. An instruction, excuse me. Maybe you missed an instruction. Maybe you missed a directive. Write those things down and give it to God. Because in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, it's clear where it says, And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. That means that God is intentional about making sure that that good work that's inside of you will be fulfilled. So continue to pay attention. Continue to have that fervor. Keep on faith stalking with me. I will see you tomorrow for day number one of week number three. 
You guys have made me so happy. I love the comments, the inboxes, the text messages. So don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, do all of those things. Well, we're going to rock out on verse number two. Is that all right? <laughs> It's been there for years in bondage. These stakes are thicker. We gotta make that vote count. Cause freedom is what it's all about. Four more years and this will be hell. So I gotta scream and yell to let the enemy know it's our game. Who cares about the street throw? We gotta stay focused on the prize despite the odds. I'm winning. Just look into my eyes. Every fight I'm in is fixed. You thought I was losing? Now I'm good for this. I'm a vet. You new to this. It's my declaration and I'll be remiss if I ain't say to all my haters, keep it pushing. Get out of my way. Not today.